In the previous video, we showed you how to check your file for issues with positive or printing line thickness, those areas of the file that may be too thin to actually print. In this video, we're going to take a look at the negative space or the non-printing areas. That's the areas you design where the shirt color is coming through or the garment color be coming through. The issues that could occur here is that you have areas that are too thin and the ink could run together on press or when you transfer it, and that detail could be lost. So we're going to check this in a very similar way that we checked uh, for positive line thickness, we're going to select the line tool and we're going to create a line. And the minimum line thickness for negative spaces, non printing areas to hold and not close up, is two points. And that's the same for spot color and for color process. So we're going to add a two point stroke to this line. And let's make it uh, a bright pink color so it's clearly visible. And we're going to zoom in on the area here and just check the smallest negative space on our file, which is the distance here between uh, the parts of the E. And you can clearly see that the negative space uh, here is not going to be a problem. But if we were to scale this image down and duplicate it and make it left chest, we could run into issues. So let's take a look at that. Now select my image, copy, paste and make it a three inch wide left chest logo. Place it lower on the page in our gang sheet here and select that two point line again. And we are gonna place that two point line between the space and the E on the smaller left chest logo. Let's zoom in and take a look and see where we stand. We can clearly see that the negative space, that two point line, is wider than the gap that we have in the space in the E. So this image has some issues. It's, it's got some uh, areas that could close up when we send it to press. So I now have a decision to make. Uh, if this file were uh, maybe a distress pattern or this wasn't a critical element of the art, I could elect to run the file as is with the understanding that that detail isn't important to me and if it closes up, it doesn't really affect the outcome of the art. In this case, it's text, so uh, we, we should probably take corrective action. And uh, our options here are we could try to select the image and possibly, uh, if you're an advanced user in Illustrator, select the points and adjust the image to open up the negative space, um, like I'm doing here. And make an adjustment here. I'm selecting each of the individual points and opening up that negative space. So that's one way you could attack and solve that problem. Uh, the only concern when you do this is you're now reducing the positive line thickness, the printable area. So you want to be sure to go back and check the adjusted areas and make sure that you haven't created a new problem when you corrected the negative or the non-printing line areas. Uh, I'm going to undo those changes. The other option is to scale the image. So I could zoom back out here and I could say maybe I don't need to go with the left chest if I want clearly uh, legible text maybe I should adjust it and let's make this a crest design and I'm going to make it five inches wide and now I can go back in and recheck that negative space with the E at five inches wide place my two-point line there in the negative space and I look to be just about at two points. So I'm pretty comfortable sending this off the press and I'm not worried about that negative space closing up. So there's two options to correct it. You can either scale the image or you can um, make adjustments to the image. But when you make adjustments and you move those points, be sure that you're not creating a new problem by making the printed lines too thin. 